Hey YouTubers, Shaman Hawk for Shamanic Lodge here. And Orsi from Shamanic Lodge. Okay, we're over at Hawkins Horse Haven, Red Boiling Springs, Tennessee. I talk a little bit about uh, relationships and our relationship, uh, different experiences as we do shamanic life. Uh, both of us come from very different backgrounds. I'm the United States. Uh, she's from uh, Transylvania, part of Romania. 31 years age difference. Uh, a bit of a height difference. Okay. <laughs> uh, in short, get it. <laughs> uh, in short, we've broken about a lot of rules about what a relationship is supposed to be according to the normal um, parameters and descriptions of relationships. And we'll probably break a, more, a few more rules while we're at it. Uh, the one thing that we can agree on is that it's really about breaking away from social programming. Breaking away from expectations, fear, guilt, shame, all the stuff that you get programmed with as you're growing up in everyday life. Uh, we met two years ago, and she found me. Thank you, Facebook. <laughs> and last year, last April, we really committed and said, yeah, we're going to be in a relationship. But we really didn't describe what the relationship was going to be. We're going to flow with it, be open as it changes, as we change. And it's taken, you know, in a short year, it's taken a lot of different uh, routes. Uh, we were uh, doing a social experiment on Facebook, great place for that. And when we were looking at our lifestyle, I go, well, we'll just post open relationship with each other. Got all kinds of questions, comments, and feedback on that. <laughs> Not that we care, you know, but it did show other people's opinions and how they're pushing someone else's programming that they accept and they want to push it on us. Well, we love each other and we're happy, so. Uh, how about you? Did you have to get through any uh, programming? Escape anything? I think a lot, yeah. It's just my two years uh, working with uh, working with Hawk and uh, and uh, the last, especially the last uh, one year, was really like um, uh, pushing myself through uh, all these programmings and um, and just uh, um, I mean going back to who I am for real and to my true nature and realizing how much. Um, like layers were on me, uh, which I, I just, I just got from, from society, from parents, from family, which is, which is good because, yeah, this is how life you see around you and how it goes. But it's good to see another perspective about relationship, um, about life, how you can live your life. So from. Uh, from being a woman who is really wanting to uh, be married uh, at an early age and uh, having, uh, yeah, having a husband and kids and family and a really good job and just going through life and, and just dying, I think it's much more life uh, than that. It's uh, really about exploring. Uh, yourself, exploring your partner, exploring life together, uh, and I don't say that the that the, the only way. I mean, we are traveling, and that's the way you can do that. Not just like traveling, right? Mm -hmm. But that's the other part of the freedom of uh, what you can enjoy and explore, to know other cultures, to go to see other people, to see. To meet other people so going back um, yeah I'm with a really different perspective now about relationship and how um, uh, how I feel it uh, about it but for me the most uh, important I mean the basic of it is trust it's loyalty is uh, is deep deep honesty and uh, and also the sexual part is really important yeah it's just part of life it's just natural it's just and this is where most of the people unfortunately 
um, they have the shame, the guilt, but that they um, they just hide all kind of um, uh, desires. desires or fantasies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just um, but being in an honest relationship and where you can trust the, your partner. Yeah, it's it's. Is that part where you where you can explore yourself also more and know yourself more? You know, it's like you're talking about the the loyalty part, but then they'll hear you say that, and I say it too. But then they'll go, well, wait a minute, you're talking about loyalty, but then you also go through this uh, open relationship uh, status, or you're with other people. How how can you be loyal then? You know, what kind of loyal are you talking about? With me, it's like the loyalty of the love, you know, that uh, I love you, all right? So the loyalty is what keeps me to say, uh, this is how I'm feeling, this is what I'm thinking, this is what I want to do, who, this is who I'm going to be with, this is where we'll be, and all that. Um, so that's, that's my version of it. Mm -hmm. So if they were asking you, well, how do you mean loyalty? Yeah, how I said that um, it's a really important part uh, of our life, this sexuality and making love part. So it's it's not really about um, having, I mean, having your partner and holding him and not really. I mean, yes, yeah, we are here. My my uh, I, idea or thought that we are here to explore, to enjoy this life. And it's not really about um, um, oh, yeah. oh, but the first part of this is <laughs> And I just thought, sorry. And you're still talking about it, but we're not going to cut. She's getting used to the video thing. Okay, this yeah, is this will be the second one that we're publishing. You know, to, that we did together, and she's such a perfectionist. If you see the altar work that she does, how intricate and detailed <laughs> it is, she tries to do the same thing with videos. Yes. And yes. it's not really easy in, uh, in English to uh, express myself, but I, I'm doing my best. I'm trying my best. Yeah. <laughs> and she's doing pretty good, right? Leave a comment. Tell us what you think. How good is she doing? Awesome. <laughs> That's the other thing, too. Is we have a lot of humor in our relationship. Uh, joking around a lot and just not taking things too seriously because that creates <laughs> undue drama it creates stories that only in the, exist in the head you know that's where the communication is so important I mean, and the other part is when we're talking to people especially in groups or in the uh, classes lectures and so on about relationships uh, it's it's nice to see how many people come up to us privately and say, hey, uh, I feel the same way. Uh, it's something I think about a lot. I don't have anybody else to talk to about this. You know, I have no other people to share this with. So that tells us that the whole um, description or expectations of what people call normal relationships is just false. People are wanting to get away from that because it doesn't work. Here, another example, when I talk about changes or traveling and openness, if you're within a box and say, this is our religious box, we can only be with people of this religion, you can only be with people of a certain age group, no more than like three or four years difference, and the guy always has to be the older one. Uh, and I say that because I've been in a few relationships where the woman was at least 10 years older than me. So, um, height, the guy always has to be taller. <laughs> okay. um, got a, a Social status, uh, economic status, ed education-wise. So, uh, the guy is supposed to be making the most money, the tallest, the strongest, the oldest, uh, the most educated, blah 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 well what if it's different all right uh, the more you go in with these boxes the less options you have of meeting that person that's really 
a good match for you. So just keep that in mind. Because like I said, we've, we've broken most of the rules. Got anything else you want to tell them? Hmm. We are looking forward to, um, to go back uh, in different places in Europe and uh, to work with people and to share with them all these um, experiences, what we had and how we went through and um... <laughs> all that stuff. All that stuff, yeah. Okay, sounds good. All right, YouTubers, uh, subscribe to our channel, leave comments. Uh, you can write us at shamaniclaw.gmail.com at gmail.com. And until then, peace, love, white light. Shaman Hawk and Orsi.